Autism in Spain. Um, my daughter, who's now seven, suffered with autism. Um, I'm not sure if it's vaccines or whatever, uh, but I would say that Spain's had a knock by a few people, a few British expats, saying how oh, they didn't like the school, blah, blah, blah. I'm taking it from a different perspective. My daughter is currently at a school um, not far from La Mata. Teachers are fantastic. Uh, but my, my son's also there as well. He's in the infants. So we have daily updates on my son because when you pick the kid up, they'll, they'll engage with you, say how they were that day, they would be naughty, what they were doing. But also they keep a little notebook uh, same goes for Zoe, my, my daughter with autism. They have a book that they give you every day. So they'll actually put notes in there saying what the kids have been doing, what the progression is, etc. Um, I will also say that my daughter has at least three teachers. She's got somebody that teaches her Spanish and tries to draw out the language because my daughter's primarily um, got an issue with speaking. Not that she can't speak, she just won't speak. Uh, you've got to draw it out of her. If she wants something, she'll talk to you. If she, if she doesn't, she'll ignore you. So she's got somebody doing that. She's got uh, Gio, it's another teacher, who is her primary teacher, you know, spends a lot of time with her. And then there is like a, I would assume, she's more of the, the head, you know, the, the main person dealing with the, the guys in the special education section. Um, I can't knock it. I really can't. The, the whole schooling is really, really good. Now, because I've only recently quit work and had a bit of time in Spain, I've had a lot more time than I would normally with a school. And they want you involved. They, they keep you up to date. Zoe's character has completely changed. She, she's a lot more... Um, confident in herself because in the Philippines we had a much smaller school um, and I'll talk about it in, in the next video but because this school has a large amount of students because like Ubi's class is probably about 25-30 students um, for both of them they're having a multiple integration with different people they're having it with different classes etc it's, it's brought them on quite a lot. I would also say that with um, Zoe's class, they'll take her from there and put her in with the other kids as well to get her to integrate more. They'll try and get her to talk more. So they'll try and get her to engage more with other kids. So there, there's nothing I can really knock on the school. The, the school's very good. I mean, they headache I have is the paperwork but even that is now all resolved because we know what we need to pay when we first started you get it oh you need to pay this well what's that you know like we we're saying with the school meals you get one that goes 20 euros a month or 10 euros a week and you're like well what's this then what, what's the 20 euros for and what's the 10 euros for but then you find out one's for breakfast and one's for um, the lunch time so it is actually two different meals because the early ones, the breakfast one, is for people that have got kids at the school but go to work. So they, they, well, go to work early so they can drop the kids off early to have breakfast at the school. So yeah, can't knock the school at all. Really good, enjoying it. Kids are loving it. And more importantly, I'm enjoying having the time to spend with April now that the kids are in school. All right, thanks for watching.